itching. A bunch. Yep. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how I get sort of heatless waves. Um, I sort of do bantu knots on my um, straight hair, and it when I take it out in the morning, it results in really nice waves. So it's a good way not to use heat. Um, really good style for the summer. Um, and I am going to an amusement park tomorrow, so um, I just want to have fun. So I'm just going to put some waves in my hair and not have to worry too much about my hair, my straight hair. So um, I'm going to take down my style for today and I'm going to show you how I uh, do that. Now, so I have just like a high bun in today. So I'm just going to take the bobby pins out that I used to secure it with. And then I'm going to take the ponytail holder out. It's an ouchless ponytail holder, as always. Okay, and of course I'm going to detangle my hair with a large tooth comb. A white tooth comb. I'm probably going to do a middle part. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And to detangle, I'm just going to put it in two sections and, of course, start to detangle from the bottom. My hair is all detangled. Now, how I'm going to prepare my hair is I'm going to moisturize it really quickly. Um, and what I'm going to moisturize with is, with is my Triple Moisture Silk Touch Leave-In Cream by Neutrogena. So I'm going to take about that much, not a lot at all, you don't really need a lot. And I'm going to moisturize. And the reason why I don't use a lot of this is because it is a water-based product and I don't want my hair to revert back to a wavy texture, I want it to stay straight. But this is enough moisture. I'm going to just uh, seal in that moisture with a little bit of oil. Okay. Now I'm going to begin working on um, sort of doing the Bantu buns so that I can, or Bantu knot so that I can get my waves. So I'm just going to take some hair and put it out of the way. So I can work with the first section. Okay. So I'm going to work with this section first. I am just going to part, finger part, the back section of hair and put up this section. section right here. I'm going to finger through it just to make sure it's not any tangles in it that I'm uh, missed with the comb. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my Bonacare Repair Rescue um, treatment for damaged ends. Okay, so I have that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of, a little tiny bit of the Mimosa Hair Honey by Carol's Daughter. Just for shine. And you don't want to weigh the hair down. Last but not least, I'm going to take a little bit of the Ion Smooth Solutions hairspray. It's a light, flexible hold. And it's not going to add too much residue to my hair. And then I'm going to twist. I'm going to twist this hair. I'm just going to take a small bobby pin. Small bobby pin like that. Um, you can use bobby pin, rubber band, any, well not rubber band, but like a little band, hair band. But the bobby pins are just easy, easy to sleep in. Um, and it just secures the end. And then you can see that it's a little sort of bantu knot there. Now I'm going to go on to the rest of the hair. Okay guys, so I basically have about this whole side of my head done in Bantu knots. 
So I'm going to show you this front section so you can sort of get an idea of how I do it and um, how you might do it. So it's going to take a section. And what you want to do is twist and then go around and you form like a little bun. Now around the bun you want to twist the hair. Or around the little knot you want to twist the hair. See? Because I have long hair my knots are going to be pretty big. But if you have shorter hair your knots will be pretty small. So don't worry. And you won't be going outside like this, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. Twist with a bobby pin. And sometimes you might want to use two bobby pins. Just to make sure. So that's basically how it's going to look. Now, I'm going to do this one again, mimosa hair honey, tiny bit, and a little bit of hairspray. Twist, bring it around, it's going to form a little knot, around the knot is where you're going to twist. It's a little tight. Be careful because your edges are really, really fragile. Don't make it make it tight, but not too tight. You know where you're gonna get a headache while you're sleeping. Okay, that's basically sort of how you do it. results I'm gonna show you I am going to head off to bed wash my face and go to bed um, so a bunch of Bantu knots and I'm just gonna put on a satin bonnet okay and go to sleep so I'll um, come back and show you the results so I am going to it's the morning time and I'm going to take down my hair so I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I take it down. I'm going to take down all of the knots. Be careful when you're taking them out because your hair is knotted around itself. So you don't want to pull too hard. Just make sure you're unraveling them really carefully. And just go into the roots.
enjoyed the video and I will definitely talk to you guys later. Um, I'm going to head out and I will come to you guys with another video. Bye, have a wonderful day wherever you guys are.